What's going on guys? Shannon Stewart here coming back at you with another video and today we are doing another quiz. This one is can you name the NFL yardage leaders for each decade 12 minutes to get 90. I assume these are all going to be 90 different names. So could be difficult. I'm going to give it my best shot. 12 minutes on the clock passing 1980s. San Fran is Joey Montana. San Diego, Dan Fouts. Miami, Dan Marino. New York Giants is Phil Simms. Arizona, not Jay Plummer. Let's have him anyway. Arizona, what the? F Dallas is Danny White. Denver, Elway. Who is more passing yard? Oh, John Elway has a lot in the 90s, too. Arizona? Not Boomer Esiason. He might be in the 90s. Minnesota. Fran the Man? Doesn't match. Oh no, this is actually not off to a great start. Seattle, Rick Muir. Seattle has another quarterback. I always forget his name. Tough. Philadelphia, Miami, Kansas City. Is that Steve DeBerg? Is that Vinny Testaverde? He's in there for the 90s, which makes way more sense. Philadelphia, is that Jaws? It is Ron Jaworski. Passing 1990s. Atlanta, Green Bay. It's Brett Favre. Houston. Warren Moon. Dallas is Troy Aikman. San Fran is Steve Young. Indianapolis, Atlanta. What the, Indianapolis, Atlanta, Oakland, Minnesota. Oh, I don't know. Indianapolis. Who started Indianapolis? Jeff George did. There you go. New England, Drew Bledsoe. And then Los Angeles, Rams, New Orleans, San Diego. Fouts has got to be on here. No Fouts. He's already on here. Idiot. Los Angeles, Rams. Rams. New Orleans. Rams. Saints. Chargers. What? Peyton Manning on here. Rams. For the 90s? What the f... Kurt Warner is going to be on here. Also, the running back, Kurt Warner, for the Seahawks. Rams. Saints. Saints quarterback. Retired with the Chargers. I don't know. Passing 2000s, Philadelphia. Donovan McNabb. Tom Brady. Drew Brees. New York Giants. Oakland, Tennessee. Kerry Collins. Seattle is Matt Hasselbeck. Los Angeles Rams, Casey, Miami, St. Louis. What are these progressions? Mark Bulger. Rams. Ooh, Ram that might be Jim Everett for the 90s. Let's go. I don't know why the 2000s made me think of that. That's Dante Culpepper at the bottom. But who? Miami, St. Louis. How many different players can play quarterback for the Rams, dude? That's when they're already in St. Louis, and it's not Mark Bolger, because I typed in Mark Bolger. Started off with the Rams, ended up with the Rams, played for the Rams on two separate occasions. Is that Trent Green? <laughs> Let's go. Also got Amon Green and Roy Green. So we have actually, we're actually doing pretty well in this. It's going to get tougher, I think. Rushing from the 80s. Um, Eric Dickerson. Chicago's Walter Payton, Dallas and Denver. Is what? What? Tony Dorsett, idiot. Okay. Um, St. Louis and New York Giant. O.J. Anderson. Atlanta and Washington. James Wilder. For the '80s. Uh, who are you? I don't know. Marcus Allen for Oakland. Oh, is it? John Riggins doesn't make. But who is their running back? Atlanta. I always blank on their all-time leading rusher's name. This is one of those times where it applies to always. Washington, I, I don't remember. New Orleans and Washington. Yeah, I'm going to blank on his name again. Is that Freeman McNeil? There we go. San Fran for the 80s, Roger Craig. We're going to miss out on two for those. That's fine. We missed out on three for passing. This is actually better. 
Rushing for the 90s, Dallas is Troy. No, what? Are you out of your mind? Emmett Smith, please. Okay, Detroit, Mary Sanders. Thurman Thomas, I'm getting a bit tired. You might be able to tell. Ricky Waters, Jerome Bettis, Seattle and Dallas. Seattle and Dallas. Or do you have Kurt Warner? Who played also for the Cowboys? That also played for Seattle that isn't Ricky Waters. And it wouldn't be Sean Alexander, who might be on there for the 2000s. I'm going to type him. There he is. He would play for the Redskins? What? Okay. Seattle and Dallas during the 90s. Who are you? Nope. New York Giants. That's Rodney Hampton. Indianapolis and Los Angeles Rams. It's not Eric Dickerson. It's Marshall Falk. And then Denver is Terrell Davis. Seattle and Dallas? There's, I'm not going to get it. Uh, rushing for the 2000s, Ladanian Tomlinson. Indianapolis, Arizona, Seattle rushing? Oh. It's Edger and James. Jamal Lewis. Clinton Portis. Fred Taylor, Tiki Barber, Thomas Jones, Rook Dunn. Boom. Rushing 2000s. Was that hard or what? Receiving in the 80s. James Lofton. Seattle. Steve Largent. That's Art Monk. Let's go. New England. Nope. New Orleans. San Diego. San Francisco. I don't know. Jerry Rice might be at the bottom there. San Fran. Dwight Clark. There he is. Miami, Mark Duper. But Mark Clayton. Los Angeles Rams and Houston. Oilers. Billy White Shoes Johnson. Um, Chris Collinsworth is going to be Cincinnati. I'm going to blank on the rest. Okay. Receiving in the 90s. Dallas. Oh, I wonder if Drew Pearson. No, it's going to be Michael Irvin, idiot. Minnesota receiving Chris Carter. Oakland, Jerry Porter, not Jerry Porter, Tim Brown, moron. Um, New York Jets, Arizona. In the 90s? Man, that feels easy. I'm blanking on it. New England, Miami, Philadelphia, Washington. What? New England, Miami, Philadelphia, No, not going to happen. Um, Atlanta, Cleveland. Is that Andre Risen for Atlanta? There we go. Buffalo, Andre Reed. Uh, Detroit. It's not. Why don't I just type home? That's not who I mean. I mean Herman Moore. There we go. Also get Rob Moore for the Jets in Arizona. All right. <laughs> Miami, San Diego, Atlanta, and then Miami again. No. Receiving the 2000s, Los Angeles, Rams, and Jacksonville, Torrey Holt. Minnesota, Oakland, New England, Randy Mouse. San Fran, Philadelphia, Terrell Owens. <laughs> Tennessee, Baltimore, Derek Mason. Indianapolis, Marvin Harrison. Pittsburgh, Heinz Ward. Kansas City and Atlanta. It's Tony Gonzalez. Ooh, tight ends could be on this list. Indianapolis. It's Reggie Wayne, but it'd be cool if I said Dwight Clark because it's good tight end. It's not. It's Reggie Wayne. I knew this, but, you know, it would be fun. And then Los Angeles Rams and San Fran. For a receiver? Oh, Isaac Bruce. Idiot. <laughs> 79 out of 90. And we got to answer the questions, obvious ones. Who played quarterback for the for any of these teams? Arizona, Cardinals, Minnesota Vikings, or Seattle? I know the Seattle quarterback. I can't remember his name. Who I, receiving also is going to bother me for the nineties. I think I'm going to have to tap out, unfortunately. I really do. Because um, names are just not coming to me. And rushing for the 90s 
Seattle and Dallas is so specific and weird that how don't I know the answer? Dallas running back to the night. I know Emmett Smith. He has to be a non-factor. So who else, who was the Seattle running back during that time? Like, let me try, let me try some names here. <laughs> That's, I don't want to do that. Um, what I do want to do, though, is figure out who is Seattle's running back. Because it's not Kurt Warner. He was 80s. Who is their starting running back? I don't know the answer. And like the New Orleans and Atlanta, they're not, they're, neither of them are Washington. They're Atlanta and New Orleans, right? I think they're all time leading rushers for those teams. And I can never remember either one of their names. And it frustrates me greatly. Like to an unbelievable level, it frustrates me. I can never remember their names. They're always on the tip of my tongue, and I can never name them. I'm going to have to tap out. Gerald Riggs. Oh, not George Rod Roger. I forget about all the time. Fucking Dave Craig. Oh, Neil Lomax. Tommy Kramer. Wow, yeah. We had 88%. Average score is 67. Gerald Riggs, I can't keep forgetting his name. And then Dave Craig was a softball. Tommy Kramer soft. Chris Warren, fuck. I forget his name a lot too. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Um. So Stanley Morgan, West Chandler, Drew Hill. Nah. But Irving Fryer had that many yards. I don't even associate him with a team to be honest. Tony Martin. I don't know who that is. I should have gotten Chris Warren, Gerald Riggs. I, I wouldn't have thought that Irving Fryer was that high up there. He was kind of like a, a weird player. Um, I should have gotten Dave Craig, I feel, Neil Lomax, and Tommy Kramer, which would have been, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, I'm saying I could have gotten, which is 84 out of 90. Wouldn't be bad. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you did it. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.